Hey guys, Lek here. Today, a quick video to talk about international travel, travel and how to set up your phone when you go overseas. For example, right now I'm in Poland, Warsaw, Poland at the moment, and I had to set up my phone. I have Verizon, so there's different plans you can do. If you have T-Mobile, you actually have 3G all over Europe already for free Wi-Fi, but if you want an actual phone number working, then you will have to set that up as well, and I'll show you guys all that in a minute. Uh, right now, I just want to talk about the, all the options. Another option, uh, if you don't check with a, a travel plan plans for uh, your carrier, you can just pull up in the country and get a SIM card, something like this. So I've picked this up in Poland for like five water and you can always add minutes, minutes to it. And this will give you instant data. I'll show you guys how to install it on your phone right away. This is a physical SIM card. There's also digital ones, eSIM cards, if your phone doesn't have the SIM card slot anymore. But I'll show you guys how to install one uh, and how it works right away. Also, the second you pull up into a country, I'll show you some messages I get, you will get alerts on your phone on how to actually activate it so you don't start roaming and racking up your bill. That's the one thing you don't want to do. Uh, those are the main options. Let's go through them and thanks for watching guys. Okay, so once you purchase your SIM card, like this one's in Polish, so it's not going to mean a lot to most of you, but you know, there'll be English versions, there'll be ones that are for the country specific and so on. But once you purchase it, you have to replace it now to get the data on your phone. And I'm going to show you that right now. One thing you are going to need is a paper clip. So I recommend keeping a small type of paper clip in your wallet or in your purse and so on for travel if you're going to be doing this. Because, for example, on this iPhone 12, it's a physical SIM card that is located right here where the little pinhole is so you're gonna need the paper clip to pop that open before we do that i'll get my sim card out and remember to save your us one or wherever you're traveling from your original because you are going to need that to reactivate your phone uh when you go back home otherwise your phone will not work and you have to go get a new one so a bunch of info here like for example this card gave you seven gigs of data to start when you and if you want to expand it you can you know, sign up for a plan and stuff like that you don't have to keep going buying cards but what i noticed buying cards comes out cheaper depending on how much you're going to use it so it comes in a few sizes and as you see t-mobile as i mentioned in europe if you have t-mobile service you don't have to worry about any of that because you'll automatically have service we're gonna now open our phone up and see what size we need and then before we start taking that apart so you don't have to turn off your phone all phones you did because usually the sim card was located behind the battery which you had to take out these days there's no real info but you just take your paper clip push into the hole and it will pop open like it did and now you slowly pull it out and you see for that because i had it on the other side but then this was my Verizon SIM card, which obviously you want to save. And now I'm going to pop out the little one. There's big, medium, and little here, three levels. So leave them attached depending on which one you want. I need the smallest one, so we're good here. So once you find the location, you can slide that in. And now we're just going to pop it back into our phone. snap and that's it your sim card is installed and you'll get a little message depending on your phone this is about i messages and we can ignore that and now this will change here problem is you're not gonna see the details change here to t-mobile logo and all that because i'm not in poland anymore i never got a chance to do that when i was there so i'm doing it right here in the u.s for you right now but that will be it now you are all set you have data on your phone you can use it till the card runs out and you have to recharge it so that will be it for replacing your sim card now uh i'll show you guys on the sites what kind of services you can get for verizon and all that if you are just want to preset your phone to have it set up and that will be it guys so that was the part about doing the regular physical SIM card. If you have a newer phone like iPhone 15 that doesn't have a SIM card anymore, you would do the eSIM version. So in this case, you go to your settings, you go to cellular, and you just add an eSIM. 
and that's going to install the SIM card for you. Also, another thing is when you have the data set up or if you are using the service you have, check your ROM and all that stuff in here in settings as well. Set that up as you need it so you know you don't get charged and stuff. But so here's an example of text messages you would receive when you pull into the country and you don't have a service set up. In our case was Verizon, so that's the messages we were getting. But basically every every country we landed in, it told you, you know, sign up for this plan, 10 bucks a day or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up right now online before traveling, so you don't have to worry about setting this up if you're not doing the SIM card function. And then here is an example of a reminder you get on your phone when you are set up. And basically that's what they're telling you every time you plan to a new country. Uh, that you're all set up and you're good to go to that specific date so now i'll show you guys how to get that set up so now i'm going to show you guys for verizon if you have verizon if you want to set up your phone for international travel have full service and all that you're going to go to verizon.com you're going to log into your account go to your account right here then you're going to choose my plan you're going to choose international details you're gonna have your phone shown here, you scroll to the bottom, add a new plan, because this is just for domestic, US, Canada, all that. And now we are picking a travel plan because we want to use this abroad. You're gonna list the countries that you are going to. So that's what I'll do right now. I'm actually going to be traveling the next couple of weeks. So I'll probably do a follow-up video on all this if anything changed, because this is based on my last trip. Make sure you select it from here because if you just type in like lower capital or something, it might not work and tell you that the country is not working, but that's not true. See, you have to have capital. So luckily all the countries that are decided are good and it will work for most. Now you choose the dates. So just pick your dates. When are you leaving? When you're coming back? Choose the phone you want to do. You have to do phone by phone. So if you got to do this for more than one phone on your account, you're going to go back and do it again. And now you, here's the options. So you have monthly international. Basically, you pay 100 bucks for the month. This is ideal for trips of 10 days or more, which in my case it will be. So it works with 210 countries. This is what it includes. Unlimited data, 250 minutes. After the first 20 gigs, the high-speed data will be will get unlimited 3G. So keep that in mind if you use your phone a lot. But if you're only going for a couple of days, two, three days, it might be good just good to do the travel pass, which is basically $10 a line a day. Same idea with the rest of the details. You just get two gigs of high-speed data. Or you can do the pay as you go, as I showed you guys in the text before, which here's the breakdown of that. Basically paying per minute, per megabyte, and all that. If you're not a heavy phone user, that might be the idea. In my case, this is what I want to go with. The monthly plan. So now, oh, okay. So now it's following up again. When do you want it to start? And then do you want this to renew? No, I don't. I want to have, want to have a one-time fee, one month to use. So that's what I'm going with. And basically, here is my breakdown of everything includes. And then you just hit confirm, and you are all set. Now you purchased your plan for your trip and you'll be all good to go. For T-Mobile, very simple. When you go search the international plan, basically your phone will just work when you arrive. You do have the option to upgrade, meaning you can shop plans for higher, you know, speed data, all that. So that's one option you might want to do. And, but I'm not messing with that because I don't have T-Mobile. But anyway, hope this is helpful guys. Stay tuned, check out my other video. I'm going to be doing a video also on some tips for traveling, like what necessities you should have with you prepping for airports, especially UK airport, which can be hell if you go into Heathrow. So I'll give you guys some tips and tricks I learned on my last trips. And I'll probably follow up with extra videos after this next trip. Give you guys a breakdown of what's going on. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Follow, subscribe. Check out my how-to videos.